Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today it's the day of the revisit of the Cold Tactical Pen. It has been nearly nine months since I bought it and yeah, here it is again. <laughs> I just wanted to let you know what I think about it now and how it did in the, in the last nine months and so on. And yeah, first off, um, it's the right. That's a good thing. So. Still fine, plenty of ink left there, <clears throat> left there, I think. Okay, um, the finish held up quite well. You can see it, it's been worn off a little bit right there. And also at the clip and a little bit here on the DNA catcher and also on the serrated teeth. But that was to be expected. And I think the overall shape is really good for the time. <clears throat> yeah, um, I lost the glass, uh, the glass breaker in action. I actually tested this on a car windshield and <laughs> I have to say it works, but it's really unpleasant because typically you would hold it like this and then assisted with your thumb right there to get the maximum force if you drive it into something like there or stab something and yeah um, what I didn't notice at first I don't know if you will be able to see this but the glass breaker was threaded in there and I noticed this a few days before I lost it it got um, <clears throat> it loosened up from time to time and then you have to screw it back in so if you plan on buying one of these, make sure to get some Loctite down there and you don't lose your tip. And yeah, um, the results of the glass breaker test were really good. Um, I attacked some safety glass with it, which is laminated um, in, yeah, with a layer of, uh, yeah, of, of tape in between basically and it was no problem to penetrate uh, through the first layer so on standard side windows this would be perfect to escape the vehicle um, on a front uh, front window it's a different story because of the lamination but you can still do it you can at least penetrate it and then might find a way to escape it but the side window is very suitable for one of these um, the Flashlight also still works, maybe, well, come on, at least yesterday it did, so, okay, here it is, still not the brightest, uh, I haven't used it all that much, so this is uh, the first set of batteries that actually came with it. There are three button cells in there and they still have uh, some juice left. Um, well, I, I used the DNA catcher not to actually <laughs> punch somebody with it, but uh, I hit it on a piece of wood just to see how it will hold up. And yeah, now it has some contact problems from time to time. So you really have to find the spot where you have to twist this cone uh, that the light will actually work. So uh, next time I buy one of these tactical pens, it's definitely without the flashlight because it's not gonna do you a whole good, I think at least. So um, for self-defense, nevertheless, it's a good pen, it works. If you keep in mind that the glass breaker is threaded and you definitely need to glue it in otherwise you can potentially lose it just like i did and if you don't overdo it with this uh, dna catcher i think it's an overall good pen okay uh thanks for watching and bye bye